Hi, my name is Rich Velotis. I'm the lead pastor of New Life Fellowship Church in Queens, New York City, and the author of Good and Beautiful and Kind. The verse of the day is found in Ephesians 3, verse 20 and 21, and this is what it says. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. There are certain verses in the Bible that are so removed from his context that we miss what was originally intended. And Ephesians 3.20 is one of those verses. This verse is beautiful. I have had my faith encouraged by this verse. When I've been down, this verse has picked me up. But this verse has a particular context with a particular message. Before Ephesians 3.20, Paul has been writing about this mystery that Jews and Gentiles could become a new family in Christ Jesus. And this was very shocking because Jews and Gentiles did not see eye to eye on so many things. There was a mutual hostility between them. But in Christ, they were joined together and all of this sounded so crazy. In American baseball, it would be like Yankee fans and Red Sox fans coming together and just loving one another. In football, it would be like Barcelona or and Real Madrid fans coming together and just living happily ever after. In American politics, it would be like Republicans and Democrats just loving one another. It all sounds too good to be true. And yet what Paul is saying in this message is something has happened. When Paul writes that God can do exceedingly and abundantly, he's not talking about simply individual blessings. He's writing about God's abundant power to join people together from mutually hostile histories into a new family in Christ. And why is this important? Simply this. In Christ, the walls that usually separate people can come down in his name. Why? Because the cross is not simply about a bridge that gets us to God. The cross is a sledgehammer that tears down walls that separate us. And that's the kind of power we need today.